From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Finally, at the last day of January 2022, and I don't know about you, but at least we've agreed in my family, it has felt like a very long month, and I think part of that is not just because it's been so cold, but because it's been inversion conditions through a lot of this month. And I wanted to show you the breakdown in temperatures here. The orange boxes that you're seeing on this calendar of this month, those would be above average days, and then the blue boxes indicate below average days. I actually need to change today's box to a blue box, but what this shows is that that, you know, in one nice little box here, uh, two thirds of the month had below average days and so far below average. Look at the first of the month, 20 degrees below average. When you take all of the morning lows and the afternoon highs, you wrap it up into one nice little number. It comes out to be 28.8 degrees, which is almost three and a half degrees below average for the entire month of January. So it was a colder than average January. We also had below average precipitation for the month of January, but you know that as inversion conditions Come along because of a high pressure ridge. We weren't getting a lot of precipitation even in our mountains missing out. Although I will say snowpack numbers are still at about or just above 100% of average. So that's good. We just need more still to keep us there. And then just in comparison sake, January of last year finished 4.2 degrees above average. We had a few 50 degree days last January. That was uh, far and few between this month. Highs today made it up to 40 though much closer to average for this time of year because of the cold front that swept out our inversion overnight last night in the early hours of this morning. So stack that up against our average here and this is looking a lot like more like it should for the end of January. Now we kick off the month of February not seeing a whole lot of change in the forecast as we head throughout this week, although our ridge of high pressure is more over the Pacific. So I'm thinking at least for uh, an inversion that holds for a longer period of time, we're seeing that becoming less and less likely as we cruise into the middle of February. So there's some good news, but we also need more snow, especially in our mountain locations. There's just a slight chance of seeing that happen almost each and every day this week. It would be light snow, so kind of adding up all the forecast model numbers output through the end of the week. It's a couple few inches at best. So again, keep your fingers crossed. Something could change in the forecast. Of course, we'll update you if that is the case. Magic Valley for tomorrow. Very cold start in the single digits and teens, wrapping up the day in the low to mid 20s. Up into our mountains, getting colder again because that warm air aloft, it isn't there anymore. We don't have inversion conditions tomorrow. West Central Mountains, maybe some light snow showers, but not amounting to more than an inch there. If you see those light scattered snow showers and for the Treasure Valley highs, we're looking at the low to mid 30s. So again, below average, partly cloudy skies. There will be some sunshine, something to look forward to and sunshine included in the forecast throughout this week. So I'm not seeing again that we get just bogged down with that low stratus deck and an inversion conditions uh, for a long period of time. So the darkest, coldest days, as I've been saying, I think those are behind us. We'll be right back after a quick break.